The oceans in Atlantic Canada are the warmest they have ever been. And this is according to the latest assessment from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Data collected last year so shows ocean temperatures hit record highs. Well, Brett Ruskin joins us now from Halifax live with more. Brett, what does this assessment tell us? Oh yeah, Natalie, this is the latest information that we have from Fisheries and Oceans Canada, talking about the temperature of that ocean right there at the Atlantic Ocean. So as you mentioned, this is for the calendar year 2022, uh, the latest information that we've gotten, and it's, it's not good news necessarily, uh, because ocean temperatures continuing to rise. You take a look May to November overall, temperatures up 1.6 degrees in the Atlantic region. Specifically in August, temperatures up 2.2 degrees. Now all of this information comes from 45 different indices. So that's kind of a grouping of different indicators. So you have buoys on the surface, you have sensors on the bottom and sensors halfway up the water column as well. You have gliders going through the water, uh, collecting data as well as satellite data in, as well. So here is one of the uh, scientists working with Fisheries and Oceans Canada talking about the effects and the impacts and the considerations that we should have about this new data. Just looking at the trend over the last three decades, um, this is a very persistent trend. There seems to have been a shift since we started doing this monitoring. Um, and. I think it's fair to say, although the analyses have not been done, I think it's fair to say that there's a strong component of climate change in there. And so that is uh, concerning. Or I suppose what should we take away from this? But because uh, compared to the alarm bells that scientists have been trying to ring for the last number of years, talking about that 1.5 degree increase in global mean temperatures, uh, warning and cautioning that that increase of 1.5 degrees from the pre-industrial age. From, uh, so uh, we are getting there because this corner of the world, the Atlantic Ocean, the Atlantic region here seems to be continuing to increase. And so uh, not necessarily a good indication to come for that overall increase. And specifically, you take a look at warming temperatures, that's going to change things like where different uh, fish species, where different seafood species move to follow that cold temperature. So that could have implications uh, fairly soon in the coming years for fisheries industries here uh, on, the, on the East Coast. Uh, lots to watch for and lots to consider. Thank you, Brett. Brett sure. Ruskin for us in Halifax.